kind of want to cloud Then I guess you can stay in my place It was so weird to be like back in my bathroom and talking because it's like the way that I'm acting on camera right now you would think I have never done social media a day in my life. I'm like I haven't been filming like sponsored content and everything but something about the little camera is just a little you know intimidating. I just got the shower. Real good shower. This is not the fit for today. Hurricane Ian did in fact hit South Carolina yesterday and it's cold because I am in North Carolina, Charlotte to be specific, which a lot of people don't know, but that's a different issue for a different day. And we've been getting rain and wind and it's cold, so it's a hoodie for the wind. Usually I don't wear stuff under my hoodies, but I think I know I finally became an adult when I started wearing tank tops under my hoodies if it's cold. I don't know why I left this butt in my head knowing that I was putting this hoodie on with this tight ass net. My mom always used to tell us when we were little, you need to wear stuff under your sweatshirts or else it defeats the whole purpose of the sweatshirt. And now here I am, 20 years old. If it's literally under 60 degrees, I will wear something under my sweatshirt, I don't care. And it's crazy because I won't like take the sweatshirt off. Like if I'm in a building, it's simply because I need to be warm too. Like it's just that simple fact. I can't even say this was a break. I haven't taken a not posting session for this long, literally since my like three month hiatus last summer and this was an i need a hair tie i'll be right back before we get any further to today's would you like to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor which is better help i'm a long time working with better help because y'all know i've never been shy or ashamed of my past when it comes to mental health struggles and therapy has been a huge part of where i was how i got past it and how i've moved into who i am today and who i'm going to continue moving and who i am in the future so i want to show you guys a opportunity in case you're interested in therapy love better help because it is an online therapy platform that's available in so many different places around the world with over 20,000 licensed therapists within their network and the cool thing about it is go through this questionnaire process and answer a little bit about yourself and instead of having to search through different websites like they automatically match you with somebody so it literally takes half the work off finding a therapist for you and I think that's amazing it's super simple super easy and really accessible my personal also favorite thing is that if you're not really vibing with or feeling the therapist that they gave you baby you can switch to another one like I said they literally have thousands of licensed therapists within their network so if somebody isn't working it takes nothing more to switch and I really love how quick this is because I didn't mention before but you can literally get matched with a therapist between 36 and 72 hours of taking your quiz not do that <laughs> in a lot of places I personally love better help because it has so many different forms of communications with your therapist you don't have to be in a room sitting cold awkward you can call them text them whenever you need video chat even whatever works for you and whatever you're most comfortable with they have it for you their help is actually way less expensive than traditional therapy and being an American I know all about that so with that being said if you're interested in trying out BetterHelp, make sure you check out betterhelp.com slash Aaliyah, which is H-E-L-P and the help. I just want to make sure you spell it right so you can get 10% off your first month with BetterHelp. Especially with fall coming around, I know seasonal mental health problems are a really big thing, especially in students because, you know, between midterms, finals, the season's changing, and it's just, it's never a problem to get that extra help that you need. So if you're interested in it, like I said before, make sure you check out BetterHelp, which is H-E-L-P.com slash Aaliyah for 10% off your first month at BetterHelp. Thank you so much, BetterHelp, for giving me the opportunity to share your resources with a broad audience of people who may or may not want to try it. I definitely recommend it. It never hurts to try therapy. And now with 10% off, maybe you have no choice. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get back into today's video. This wasn't even like intentional. I have been like posting very sparsely across my socials. And it's not because it's like, oh, she's quitting. Oh, she's taking a break. Oh, she's tired of this. Baby, I don't know if I mentioned this. I probably did if, you know, I don't like the way this button came out. I'm taking five classes this semester. It's my senior year. So it's kind of, how much did he say, important. That hasn't rolled off my tongue so easily in so long. The girls who know, you know. Life just got busy. Usually my life does in fact get more busy in the fall, so I tend to post less, but kind of like not posting for a month is kind of insane. <laughs> Like, I never thought that I would do something this long again. But like I said, it wasn't, like, intentional. I'm putting on this gold bracelet I got from Etsy. Today's just gonna be a chill day. I was kind of freaking out this morning. So I was like, oh my god, I have nothing planned for this video. da 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 ra 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 And then I was like, nobody comes to you for planned vlogs, so you need to relax. I think the reason I was panicking 
was because I haven't posted in a month and I was like, you were literally gone for a month, girl. You need to come back with something worth coming back for. And then I sat back and was like, you need to relax. People who actually like you will watch whatever. And I don't need to stress myself out like that. The first day of the best month of the year or the kickoff day to the best season of the year, which is the run from October to January. I almost said February. I don't like February. Short ass month. Bitch, grow up. It's about to be my favorite time of the year. And I feel like I always flourish so much in the fall time because it is in fact my favorite season. Fall in the Carolinas is absolutely gorgeous when it's not like 90 degrees out, which I feel like it's not gonna be this year, but I have some cool stuff going on in this fall and I'm very, very excited. My older sister just had a baby shower because she's having a baby. So Lee's gonna have a little nephew this month. He's gonna be born this month. And I'm very, very excited. It's just fall has always been such a good time for me mentally even with like the weight of school and everything like it's always been pretty good for me i can't really ever complain about fall tens across the board for her i love october i love october and fall festivities i'm all for a christian girl autumn is next to the, as much as the next girl i don't know if i have any halloween plans yet but halloween is still fun with the movies and it's everything that comes with it fall culture fall is a culture i was spending a lot of time just like relaxing not relaxed i'm lying i haven't had a lick of relaxation in weeks i've just been kind of going with the motions and picking up the camera really wasn't like my first instinct as i'm going through these motions but yeah a lot of you have been doing me like girl where the hell have you been in that library on my couch doing homework where have you been yeah i'm sorry that i kind of fell off the face of the earth it really wasn't intentional the past couple weeks have just been so like what it's just been a new playing field for me just trying to meet new people venture out i've met some amazing new friends and just faces that have just made me feel so good in the past couple weeks and honestly i feel like i needed it just a little bit of fresh air i've really just been going through the bullshits it's literally like school friends sleep repeat and that's cool with me like for once i think this kind of cycle is working and I really just needed a break to be by myself because I just, I don't know. I love all the people around me right now though. Everything's going pretty good. Also, something I've realized in the past couple of weeks is I'm turning into an anti-makeup girly. I don't know what's been going on with me, but makeup, it just doesn't come out like how I want to, or like how I ever want it to look or like it's patchy and it just really pisses me off. So now I'm just kind of like in my minimal makeup era. Here's my little minimal makeup era routine. I do my brows with the Edge Booster Edge Control and I use this Anastasia whatever. And I usually just go on with some mascara, nothing too crazy. Today I'm gonna use the Essence Big Lashes Volume Curl Mascara. Essence makes some of the best mascaras I have ever bought. Like I. I've been buying essence mascara since i was like in the eighth grade so i was like what 13 14 i'm 20 now ride or die um i also love their false lashes princess mascara so excellent and they're the purple tube i think it's the black mascara i think it just adds like an extra shade of black to your lashes but it's really, really good there's an eyelash on my mascara wand so yeah i don't know i've just i've been feeling way more like content with myself for the past couple weeks like more content than i have in the past like couple months i think i started really feeling content with myself like in september and i got in my relationship in july it's really just been like literally chilling like i've been chilling i'm gonna put on some lashes today because i feel like i could just use a little bit of a spruce up my piercing sticking out i don't know if it's just me but i hate when nose piercings stick out it's like girl put that up <laughs> Simple, basic, neutrals. I'm gonna give you guys an OTD because I'm about to put my shoes on. We're about to go because I'm starving. We're gonna go to one of my favorite coffee shops here in Charlotte. Um, sorry to cut the lights. The bills are paid, I promise. Today's bag of choice is my Paws tote. A lot of people got asked me where I got this from. It's from StockX. I mean, I think it really just matches with the neutrals aesthetic we have going on. I'm actually gonna put my computer in charge in here because if I'm gonna do anything, I'm gonna work at a coffee shop. It's definitely feeding into my delusional schoolgirl mentality. I'm gonna pair this with my Yeezy 500s. It's the colorway blush. I love these shoes. I, I have a couple pair of Yeezys. I have Yeezy slides. I have Yeezy foam runners in black. Ignore my clothes, they're getting washed. And then I have these Easy 500s in the blush colorway. Automatically, these have become some of my most comfortable shoes. And I feel like because of the design choice, they're just so like unique. Like I don't have any sneakers this color and then this level of comfort in the same thing. So it's like, it's a win-win. And they just complement my foot just so well. This is a cute outfit. 
you can't tell me it's not. So let's pack my bag. We're gonna head to the coffee shop and we're gonna be out for the day. Before I get, forget, red vanilla scent of the day. One of my favorites, never steers me wrong. Real music. Are you kidding me? I didn't get to park where I usually park, which is on the street. Yeah, Leah like street parking. Who would have ever thought? There's another parking deck that I hate parking in, but it's the closest one. So we're just gonna take one for the team. We are in downtown, uptown Charlotte, whatever you wanna call it. I was talking to one of my friends about that the other day. I was like, do you call it uptown or downtown Charlotte? Because a lot of natives say uptown and a lot of tourists say uptown, but I be saying downtown and up. I really think it just depends on the context and who I'm talking to. Because if I'm like, oh, do you wanna go downtown? They know what I'm talking about. But if I'm like, oh, you can go to uptown. Like maybe I use uptown when I'm telling people where to go. But if I'm like, oh, I'm going here. I'm like, oh, I'm going downtown or like, or you should go up. I think I just cracked the code. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I don't know if you remember when we were talking about it. If I'm telling somebody, oh, you should go here, I'm like, oh, you go to Uptown. So I guess when it's personal, I say Downtown. But if I'm like, oh, they went there and I'm not included, it's Uptown. Like, y'all should go to Up. But if I'm going, it's, oh, I'm going to Downtown. I need to get back into recording in public and like with confidence like I need my fam level confidence when it comes to filming in public because boy my videos would eat down if I was more confident with filming in public but once again I was in a month forced relaxation slash break not to adjust the fit is so cute today though I wish I had somebody to um take my pictures I've worn this before I am in fact the outfit rewear I don't know if there's no pictures in it it never happened so unless I get pictures today it didn't happen Golden Graham Latte with a chocolate muffin. Thank you. Now, Timothy Chalamet's movie, Call Me By Your Name, is about to be put on Netflix, and I've never seen it. Um, all I know is that there is shoulders, shoulder shimmies, and peaches. And I think I'm gonna watch it, probably not today, but when I do, I will in fact be live tweeting. <laughs> And making a TikTok about it because I'd never seen it. People literally lose their marbles over this movie, and I want to understand. And I think that's understandable. I want to I wanna, I wanna get it. I want to feel included. We're back in the car. I look good. Just what I should remind you. <laughs> I'm back in the car. Really good session. I didn't do work for more than one class. I mainly just did work for my Spanish class because Spanish people for my ass. I thought I was fluent in my own state of delusion in my head. I am not. And grammar is well for my ass. So I'm having to work a little bit harder than I have planned to understand it and get what I need to done. So that's always um spicy currently one o'clock and i think i'm ready to start my fall festivities for today i didn't really downtown i really didn't plan on doing much decorating in my house for fall because it's just not me like i love the colors and everything but there is a few things that i did want to get i need to go to bath and body works because i need to get me some fall candles if i'm gonna do anything i'm gonna buy a candle and can you be mad at me for it no you absolutely cannot so i think we're gonna go to bath and body works and i kind of want to get some fall spooky books too so that sounds like an excuse to go to barnes and noble i feel like we haven't gone book shopping together in a long time and we're just gonna do stuff to get ready for the month i had this like big elaborate plan 
as to uh, which gonna call it as to, like what i want to do for fall i even asked you guys in my spam like what to do to re prepare for the month and stuff but i was like you was your own person <laughs> you was your own person figure out what you want to do and like yeah it's good to take inspiration from people but i was trying to do the most knowing good and well i'd be tired as a 20 year old full-time student baby anything other than the bare minimum is an absolute no you also probably can't tell but while i was gone i got my windows and my car tinted for the first time i never had my windows tinted in this car i got this car brand spanking new how do you leave can i leave and i got the legal limit and i posted about it on tiktok you can go ahead and when i tell you i didn't know that so many people would have just told me girl you should have got darker tints who's paying for it and who has to get their car inspected every year i mean hold on let me pay for this parking girl don't yell at me please damn. pay with cash the amount shown on the display Twenty dollars or what the hell please is wrong with you? pay with drive safely girl you just took 20 of my dollars so the legal limit in north carolina is 35 and love convenience like it's my favorite thing in the entire world i think it's excellent you feel me and people in my tiktok comments were like girl you should have got five you should have went darker you could have got a waiver i don't care enough like i really don't that's what i think people fail to realize i don't give a i don't care that much people are trying to crack down on me you know like whose car is it who's driving it quite frankly i don't really care if people can see in my car I really got my windows tinted because it'd be hot and I have black interior as you can see I went to Sunstoppers on South Boulevard great experience they only took like an hour and some change and I got ceramic tint and 35 if you're wondering you probably don't care if you've been following me for a while you'd know that I've been trying to get my windows tinted for a while but I just never wanted to pay for it and yeah people always always also ask me um what kind of car do you have I have a 2021 Oh, I'm supposed to turn. 2021 Honda Civic Sport. I did a whole video on me getting my car and like a car tour and like decorating it. I never decorated my car because quite frankly, once again, I don't care enough and that is too much work. Not decorating my car for monetization. That's it. And quite frankly, you should have went darker. You should mind your business. I was thinking about it and I was listening to Gemini rights because that is the most Gemini-esque album I have ever heard in my life. It's like coming from a Gemini, stream it. If you ever wanna know what it's like to break up with me or like get out of a relationship with me, listen to that. Gemini writes as I do, cause it's good. And I will never get over the fact, like your opening song, you're saying you're looking for a bitch cause you're over boys. I just can't believe that is one of the first, oh, Soul Snatcher, that is what, sorry. Sorry. I can't believe that that's one of the first lines on your album, Steve Lacey. Like, that is sick. The more I spend time in Aaliyah land, aka Delulu land, the more I realize I'm absolutely insane. And <laughs> I don't really know how to explain it besides it's pure insanity in my head. And I will never know peace. And you know what? I'm okay with that. At what point? point does it get sick like at what point do we have to sit here and realize Aaliyah you're losing your mind I love how throughout the day my mood peaks in that like after like it's one o'clock right now and I was so soft-spoken this morning no this is our regularly scheduled program every time I think I'm gonna have a chill day where I'm not on 10,000 I end up proving myself wrong that I just did in Bath and Body Works actually wasn't that bad. While I'm in this area, okay, while I'm in this area, I'm gonna stop by Ulta to see if I can find some glycolic acid because ever since the TikTok girlies got on the glycolic acid wave, I can't find it anywhere. And it says this Ulta has it. Let's see if I can go in here and get what I actually need because Ulta is worse than Target in my opinion when it comes to me buying shit I don't need. I really hope they have black hot acid in here because I haven't had it for weeks because it's literally been sold out every freaking where. Let's hope they have it because I, I miss it. 
fish on the Ulta app would tell you what aisle these things are on. Oh, I found it. It's not looking good. And this is why I shop with y'all. $7.50. They're usually $6 at Target, but $7.50 for these changed my skin. Oh, yes. And it's the last one. Ah. We're winning. I've been trying to find a signature scent, and I just smell this. Thanks. Are you kidding? It smells so good. Yeah, I'm gonna hit it. Thank you. You have a good one. I hate when you hold the door for people and they don't say thank you. Like, that is some of the rudest shit you can do. Because now I'm not gonna hold the door for nobody else for the rest of the day, and it's your fault. Definitely walked out with four more things than I planned to get, but it's for research purposes. Sorry for my collection of little trees. This. Whatever. Whatever. You don't care. Nobody asked. Time for a haul. This is the face of somebody with no self-control. This off the face of somebody. You're looking at a Telfar owner. So actually, mind your business. Let's do a haul. I'm gonna start with Ulta, cause I just came out of there. And quite frankly, this was the most unplanned accident, but a very good one. I got what I needed. Ordinary glycolic acid toning solution. If you watch my hygiene routine from the summertime, you know that I use this on my neck and under my arms to clean it because nothing gets those areas good enough like this. Like, I'm sorry, ever since I started using this, my armpits so clean. And I don't know if it's supposed to lighten them, but I've noticed the difference in mine from when I started using it versus now when I'm continuing to use it. But this also doesn't make me sweat as much. I walked out of Ulta with four new perfumes. I have a running list of perfumes I need to smell and buy. And I got two travel sizes and two regular sizes. This is the Philosophy Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere. This smells like a holiday in a bottle. I then picked up the Chanel perfume. Which one is this? I don't know which one this is. It's the, actually, I have a picture of it. I'm gonna tell you exactly which one this is. This is the um, Chanel one that starts with the F, F-R-A-I-C-H-E. So good, I smelled this when I was in Florida. This might be one of my favorite Chanel perfumes and I'm just now buying it. Grown Lady Tings. Okay, so that's this one. And my two travel sizes I got, one is Valentino and the other is Black Opium. This is Valentino Born in Roma. YSL Black Opium. Black Opium smells so damn good good like it actually makes no type of sense and i got the travel ones because i already got two full-size bottles and if i like these enough i'll just get the big bottles but i love a good to-go spray valentino vernon roma is just another really popular one that i like it smells really good i feel like this kind of a staple but yeah why i sell black opium might be up there with the chanel those are my two favorites that i bought today 200 down the drain now let's go on to bath and body work i got a shit ton of candles because as you saw they were 13 dollars instead of 25 so i was like okay i got six candles i believe um, I got White Pumpkin. This is a White Pumpkin fan page. White Pumpkin will never do anything wrong in my eyes. I will always buy her every single year. I also picked up a new one. This is Pumpkin Apple. This smells like cinnamony. Yeah, Red Apple Pumpkin Ground Cinnamon. So I really, this just smells really homey to me. Like if fall had a scent, it would definitely be Pumpkin Apple. It's really good. I think it might be my second favorite after White Pumpkin. And if you want to know what that smells like, um, they describe it as White Pumpkin, Caramel Glaze, and Ground Spices. This smells like a toned down version of Pumpkin Apple. Just, I think it's the apple that's missing, obviously, but really good. I love those. Of course, I had to pick up. Oh, wait, no, this isn't even the one that I'm talking about. This is Leather and Brandy from White Barn. They describe it as warm leather, amber woods, and aged brandy. This smells like, like, if I had to put a label on how, like, the vision I see when I smell this, which is probably weird, nobody's gonna get this but me, but it's like, think of a farmhouse and, like, you're drying your laundry outside, like, on the clothing line. Like, it just smells fresh, in my opinion. So, this is Leather and Brandy. This is the first time I'm buying this and the first time I've smelled it. I haven't been to Pottery, not Pottery Barn, <laughs> White Barn and bath and body wash for candles in so long so this is the first time i've been probably since christmas of last year because i really do mess with their fall and winter smells because i don't know it's my favorite time of the year so i'm gonna go all out like spring and summer i don't care but fall and winter i'm convinced i was supposed to be born in the fall but like i look like i could have a fall birthday like don't i look like my birthday should be in october no i was made a gemini instead pray for me typical mahogany teak wood ah, and of 
course I got intense because I'm mentally ill. I got five candles instead of six. I definitely thought I bought six, but okay. And then I also picked up another new one. Just a lot of new scents today for Aaliyah. Venturing out, trying new things. Cranberry orange seltzer. Kinda smells like soda, but happiness. I usually don't do sweet scents, but that one is like the perfect balance of like sweet yet savory. Overly sweet things make my head hurt. So like vanilla, like I can't, like I, it, 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 it frustrates me. It does in fact frustrate me. So whatever. I also decided to get those little room sprays. I got five of them because it was five for 25. So I got five. The first one I got was mahogany teakwood. This is not a new scent. It's mahogany teakwood and I love mahogany teakwood. I'm a simple girl. Anything with the word teakwood on it, I'm nine times out of 10 gonna buy it because teakwood is a scent. It's just so like, like it's just it's comforting i love it i picked up chris morning air this supposed to be fresh and relaxing it smells good then i picked up laundry day this is fresh and relaxing as well also got mahogany teakwood again i'm telling y'all like i think i think i have a problem with the scent department maybe i just have a go-to house scent that i like and it is mahogany teakwood and like that's cool but like at what point am i going to acknowledge that i'm si whatever we got stress relief eucalyptus and spearmint i be stressed <laughs> I do not know peace. You can ask any one of my friends, when's the last time Aaliyah has relaxed? And they'll be like, never, because I, I don't know what it is. Then I got Laundry Day. This is supposed to be fresh and relaxing as well. And then since I actually surprisingly didn't have a plug-in, I got this little marble one because it's very subtle. Scent control on it. So like if I want to kick up the notch, I just push the button. That was my little splurging session. I still want to go to Barnes and Noble. I have been not on a reading hiatus, but because life is just like really stressful. Well, not it's not stressful. I just have a lot of stuff to do all the time. I haven't really had time to read. Um, I have a, so many books at home that like I could read, but it's fall, so I need something spooky. It's not for the girls, mystery thriller. So I think I'm gonna try to go to Barnes and Noble because it's 216 now. I've been like like moving quickly through these store stops and everything. I also kind of want to go to um Home Goods and Marshalls. But then again, like I don't really want to decorate my house for fall because where I'm gonna keep them. I don't know. We'll see how I feel. This is my getting ready for October. And if I don't want to decorate, I'm not gonna decorate. But I just like to get I just love fall. And honestly, the candles and stuff is probably all it really takes. So yeah, I'm probably gonna go to Barnes and Noble. I'm if I go to Barnes and Noble, I'm gonna be there for at least 45 minutes. If I'm gonna do anything, I'm gonna sit down by the fire with a book. You understand me? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to Barnes and Noble. Fun fact, I didn't know Freddie Mercury had a bio, and I watched it for the first time, and it's actually really good. I'm trying to like expand my media intake and like what I watch, just to, you know, like diversify it so if people have recommendations, like I could always tell them. So that's what I've been doing. And I was watching the Freddie Mercury biopic, and I was like, this is so good. Like, this is really, really good. And I went to go read reviews on it, and they were like, oh, the movie's boring. Well, it's a good thing I'm not a movie critic because if I enjoy, like, a lot, I haven't seen a lot of things that are, like, bad in my opinion. But that's just me. I also have a very, very, very small palette when it comes to content, so who knows? <laughs> who knows what I'd be talking about for real because Lord knows I don't even know. So I finally listened to Harry's Home, like, a couple weeks ago. And because I never listened to it when it came out, I just I just never came around to it. So I came around to it. Ticketmaster actually tried to get me to buy tickets for his one of his Madison Square Garden shows, and I was like, no, somebody who likes him more than me should go. So I never got my tickets to go because I love finding new music as the next person. But there's more people out there who would really like to go more than me. And plus, I don't live in New York, so that would be a whole shebang, boom, bow. And I listened to the, that, I'm off topic. I listened to the album for the first time. Favorite song off the album is Satellite. And I think it's the best song as well. What's that other song called? Hold on, I'm about to go through it real quick. Daylight and Satellite are my favorite songs off the album. And they might be the best. Music for a sushi restaurant is a honorable mention. This album is so fall and autumn in my opinion. And then Fine Line is really like spring, summer. And it's weird because I think Fine Line came out in winter watermelon sugar could have been the song of the summer but he released it at the wrong time as it was being the leading single i understand why they picked it i feel like as it was doesn't match the vibe as like the other songs so i can understand why they picked it as leading single i feel like as a collective the music industry needs to stop picking out lead singles that don't match the vibe of the rest of the album for example ariana grande positions they could 
she could have picked so many other options and she picked positions position is such a good song but if it was up to me what is wet on me is something on my sweatshirt like oh there is wait is there am i losing it i feel like ariana grande could have picked any other song besides positions as a leading single if i was her manager it should have been nasty 34 35 was also a leading single i think but in my opinion, Nasty should have been a leading single. Point of View should have been a leading single. I feel like those would have been perfect, but that's just my two cents. And again, I'm not anywhere a part of the music industry, so I could not know what I'm talking about. This is my happy place. I don't think you'll understand. It's right there. I love Barnes & Noble. Barnes & Noble has just become like a safe place. Like whenever I have a bad day, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go to Barnes & Noble. Or like, I'm like, I can't focus. I need to regroup. I need to go to Barnes & Noble. Absolutely not. Hell no. <laughs> it's been so bad. I live um, in an apartment and I have like a patio. But when it was raining really bad yesterday, I was like, why is my floor wet? So I had to call my mom and she was like, oh, the water's gonna come through the door, but don't panic. And I'm like, don't panic. This was my first like, major yeah. weather thing by myself. She's like, you'll be fine. I'm like, no, I'm not. But at least it stopped. That's good. Yes, it stopped, <laughs> thankfully. And I hope it doesn't rain for a while. We have enough now. Yeah, thank you. You have a good one. I can't tell if this lady's waiting for me to come out. I think she, damn, now I gotta do my haul somewhere else. I'm not about to hog up this space. She was sitting there waiting for me to get out of the space. Girl, I got a haul to do. Find yours. Five books. Y'all know I buy books in five. Did I say four books or five? I got five. We have two romance, two spooky. Um, nope. Three spooky, two romance. I got Lock the Doors by Vincent Ralph. She's kind of thick. The back says Tom's family has just moved to their dream home, but he quickly realizes something is very wrong. There are strange messages written on the walls as well as a lock on the outside of his bedroom door. Past reveals sinister secrets. Both families come to find out that it's impossible to keep the truth behind locked doors. Then we have the stolen hours. Basically, somebody's murdered, has to catch the killer. Then we have the murder of Mr. Wickham. That is so funny. This sounds British. This sounds like a very British story. Also, Finding a Murder. This is by Claudia Gray, and the other one is by Alan S. Eskins. I and mean, then I got two books by an author I haven't read by Ronnie Lauren. I got What If You and Me, and then For You and No One Else. She's a therapist. She goes viral. It's always... She, she catches feelings for somebody she can't have. That's what it sounds like. Then, she's a novelist, podcaster. She needs a book to be great. Neighbors fall for each other. Lady falls for a man while she's not supposed to be in a relationship. So, as these characters, I also love things that I cannot have. Oh, there's a lot of new things in my car. They're cute. I went to literally three of my favorite places for fall time. Bath and Body Works, Ulta, and Barnes and Noble. Like, today's been perfect and it's three o'clock. And I went to my favorite coffee shop and I smell good. Like, ah, like it's just so good. This is who I am, and I am not ashamed to say it anymore. Yeah, lips, and then your kiss, and your fingertips. Like, sweet dreams, stuck in the 90s, 90s, baby, this is a matter of time. It's a matter of rap game, but mama, you're the jack game. In fact, it's the exact same, and these jacks is my crack game. And if you listen, listening, then you a fame. Our music is the cure, like some vaccines. I've been flexing. Yeah, we're making a pit stop at at home in Target for home decor and necessity. After I just yeah, I 
I just said like not even two seconds ago that like I don't want to decorate my house, but I can do a little something. I don't know, I want to do a little something. This is the shit I be talking about. Cause why would you park your car and leave it right there like that? That's exactly what I be talking about. Y'all act like you don't got no sense. Park your car correctly. Like it takes two seconds. Get tongue tied in. I'm going to my mom's house to get my child. Oh, maybe I'm just like my mom. 